Let me tell you this. Let me can tell you this. I posted a video for Trump, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. on my personal social media. And one of our big sponsors called and said, take that down. You know what I said? Go f*** yourself. Yeah. It'll keep happening unless more people stand up for themselves. Yeah. And give them the f*** you response. Dana don't give up. Video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Make sure you get the merch link in the description section. Ladies and gentlemen, this bit, this hoodie is going viral. I don't know why I quit wearing my Not A Gun Free Zone shirt. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's going viral. Make sure you get one on TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Put in discount code BEATDOWN to get 30% off. I ain't doing the 30% off no more. This is the last day. It's the last day, ain't it? It's the last day. 30% off. Beat down, get it now, because I ain't doing it no more. I think I'm cutting it off at midnight. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, and late ties. This is my boy Dana. See, a lot of y'all got mad at me because I supported Dana doing a business decision with Bud Light. And y'all got mad at me. Man, he'll sell out. He'll sell out. He's just selling his soul. He's just doing it for money. He just do look at the video. All y'all think Dana will sell out. Listen to what he said. You do you think he's selling? You think he's selling out? You think he care? I told y'all he don't care. That dude worth three hundred million dollars. He don't care nothing about no Bud Light. If Bud Light was was woke enough and they didn't do all the things that he explained that they did, he wouldn't care to work with them. He don't care. He got f you money. Don't listen to me. Wrote a clip. Ship deal with somebody. You have to look deep into who they are and, you know, who's running the company, who's making the decisions, and are you aligned? Yeah. I love that, man. Yeah, because we had Robert Kennedy Jr. on, and we had a company call or a couple companies call after that and say, yeah, just stuff about them. We're not advertising on this episode. My advertiser was like, you guys need to take the episode down, you know? And uh, and and we ended and up – And what's wrong with him? Nothing. Nothing. Guy's f***ing brilliant. And I've known Guy's him for, a smart f I've known him for seven years. Great guy. Right. I mean, a neat man. Right. I, I've never met him. Yeah. I've only watched his stuff. And, and you got this whole Democrat, Republican, all this crazy bull He's a Democrat. Yeah. Right? But now they hate him just because he doesn't believe. Like He's this. a Democrat with common sense. Right. Yeah. Right? He's like an old school Democrat. Yeah. And smart guy, whatever. Let me tell you this. Let me fucking tell you this. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> This is America. You can have whoever you want on your podcast. You can do whatever the f you want to do. Imagine a sponsor that's sponsoring you, calling you and telling you that you can't have this guy. What sponsor did it? Um, Who was I, it? I, let me think. And I'm not afraid to name him. I don't know if I remember. I really don't. Right. I don't know if I believe you, but okay. That's fair. Um, <laughs> but I really don't know if I remember. <laughs> Imagine, and this happened to me too. This this happened to me. I posted a video for Trump, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. on my personal social media, and one of our big sponsors called and said, "Take that down." You know what I said? Go f yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you vote for whoever you want to vote for, and I'll vote for whoever I want to vote for. That's how this works. I don't even care who you're voting for. It's none of my fucking business. But f you. Yeah. Don't ever f call me and tell me who to vote for. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think a lot of people feel in fear these days. You know, a lot of people feel in fear that if they don't vote for certain people, they're going to lose their jobs. Yeah. I mean, it's Hollywood, for example. Think about how f crazy that is. It sounds insane. It yeah. sounds just like. Well, it'll keep happening unless more people stand up for themselves yeah. and give them the f you response. <laughs> oh, man. I I'll tell you what. Listen, I'm a Christian man. I don't cuss like this, right? Sometimes I cuss these guys out in the background, but I'm just kidding. But generally, I don't I, I, I don't cuss. Y'all would never hear me cuss publicly. Sometimes I get mad, I may say some stuff and I gotta pray about it. Um, but y'all never hear me. I, I, I try to be as professional as I can. So I don't agree with cursing and, and all that stuff like that. I, of course, I wanna say everything Dana is saying, but I, I try as a Christian man not to cuss. So do I agree with the way uh, Dana White is conveying himself? You know, I don't talk like that but i believe everything that he's saying on the inside that's how i feel 
that's why I work. That's why I own my own business and I work for myself because I don't want to have that day where I got to tell an advertiser somebody to go yourself. You're going to tell me that I can't think or have the opinions that I want to have. I Listen, I don't care. If you don't want to work with me, let's say like the radio. I own, I own everything I do now. The YouTube is the only thing, you know, YouTube and social media stuff is the things that I don't own, but I stay in my lane on their platforms. But on my stuff, even on the radio, I love Salem. They've been really good to me. The moment Salem tells me, Brandon, you can't have an opinion about this, so you got to change your opinion about this, I'm going to tell them, F you, take me off the radio. I will never do a radio show again. I don't care what you say. I'm good all by myself. But they don't do that. that that's why they're a great company. They let you say what you want to say, unless you say something that's fake or fraudulent or detrimental to their company. But overall, it's like you say what you want to say, and I like to keep it that way. And, and Dana and, and Dana said it right, is that enough of us need to stand up and say something. Sometimes you got to take that, bite that bullet and say, you know, you're going to fire me? Well, F you, I quit. I'll leave this job. I, I, I'll just leave it up. I'll go find another job. I will never compromise who I am for, for a paycheck. Never. And especially if I was worth $300 million. Even though I don't try to cuss. I cussed in. I'm worth $300 million. You tell me something, I'll tell you, go screw yourself. Anyway, I think Dana White, that's why I respect him so much. And, and, I, and I have talked to him personally. I met him before. I consider him to be a friend of mine. And that's why I respect him so much. That's why I stood up for him in the, in the, in the Bud Light thing because – I didn't met the man. I know he don't pull no punches. He don't take no crap for nobody. And, and a part of that, even though, you know, I don't know, I don't think he's even a Christian, but a part of that, it, I think Christians need to start embodying. You don't have to be cussing and stuff like that, but man, having enough courage to say, man, I don't care what nobody say about me. Christians need to start embodying that. That's why I'm so, you know, drawn to Dana and, and Andy Frisella and them, even though they cuss and they say a lot of stuff, it's because... Christians need to have a spirit of like, I'm going to be me. I got God on my side. None of y'all can tell me nothing. You ain't finna bully me. You ain't finna tell me nothing. I got the king on my side. But Christians nowadays, they just weak. Uh, I don't, uh, abortion. Uh, I'm a pastor. I can't talk about abortion in front of the church. People may leave my church. Get out. Get out of the church then. That's why I can't be a pastor. I have five members, and, and two of them be my family members. Man, I'm not finna. I'm not finna look at the word of God and say I don't want to talk about that because I'm afraid people are gonna stop tithing at my church. I don't want to talk about that because I'm afraid people are gonna stop uh, coming and uh, being involved in church. I don't want to do that because man. Anyway, let me get up off here so I can go to the radio. I'll see y'all on the next one. Shout out to Dana White. I'm out.